diamonds, braids, and billion dollars. We're talking about, a, not a talking about rather a fashion show, we're talking details of the 30 Crossing construction project. Yeah, the state's getting closer to starting the massive highway rebuild, and THV 11's Rolly Hoyt deciphers this first part of the plan. Rolly. Don and Craig, talking with the folks at RDOT, there's all kinds of terminology. Once you get past that, you got to focus on a few things. We're getting a new bridge over the Arkansas River, and some famous bottlenecks like these here that we see on the traffic cams are getting broken. Start with that bridge. More than anything in the Seven Mile Corridor, highway officials say we need a better way to get over the Arkansas River. The bridge is seven decades old, and the three lanes back and forth just can't cut it. The replacement will have those six lanes, but add two more collector-distributor lanes in both directions. Those CD roads won't be highway speed, more like city streets or frontage roads. So local traffic between the two downtowns doesn't have to clog the interstate. A little farther south, relief for travelers going from 630 on to I-30. The ramp heading north is getting a new lane. It eliminates a merge that often brings on mild road rage as the lane drops. It should allow for better flow. And a spokesperson for RDOT points out it won't require a bigger footprint. That's something critics of the whole project have been harping on. If you need an idea of what the 30 crossing project is going to look like when it's done, remember this. The Big Rock Interchange has a lot of the same features. That includes so-called braided lanes. When about four different ramps converge on the 630, some of those ramps are stacked up. Well, that concept is coming to the breakneck weave commuters do every day in North Little Rock. Instead of the two lanes that exit right off I-30 onto I-40, those lanes will now fly over the road and enter on the north side of the highway. A single lane will scoot under that ramp and head east toward Memphis. It makes a little braid. So no more rushing to the left to head up north on 67-167. Now the companies that will build and rebuild all of this have been hired. They're already working on designs, even though a lawsuit hangs over the project. But that suit is on hold while the latest details get evaluated by environmental inspectors. RDOT is confident they've eliminated any environmental hurdles.